Okay, next fight we have in the harbor. As you can see, harbor's serious business. And same same to ignore supplies. If you critical hit this, it's painful as hell. And you can also see that uh, if we do a critical hit, it does well massive amount of damage, but it does at least damage. So I guess skilling wise, you always should go for critical hits, but actually should explain sooner or later the skilling system. But I think I do that in an extra video. Okay, after this guy, we meet the lovely tavern Pegleg. There's the random citizens, our guy, and hey, this friendly fellow. Hey, I haven't got time to chat with you. Talk to Cardiff if you want information. Oh, information, eh? Hello there. How are things? If you want something to drink, you'll have to order it. Give me something to drink. Yeah, he has nothing interesting to sell. He has, well, standard stuff which you don't need because it's pointless and it's overpriced, so... Let's see, maybe he sells something more interesting. I bet you overhear a lot of things. So what's that to you? I've always got an open ear for news. Have you got your purse open then? Every piece of information I give you will cost ten gold pieces. I'll give you no more than five for your information. What? Five gold pieces? Are you trying to ruin me? Let's make it seven. Okay, seven gold pieces sounds fair. A wise decision. Well, so if there's anything you want to know, ask me. I need information. Where can I find work? You're not likely to find work down here at the harbor. You need to go to the craftsman in the lower part of town for that. But if you wield a decent blade, you could go challenge Ulrich. He fights for gold behind the warehouse. Is there any special work to be had around here where I could make some quick money? Something special, you say? Hmm. Go talk to Nagur then. Maybe he can help you. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to know from him. The other thing is standard stuff you already know. I also like how he just looked left and right before he told me, just to, to see that he doesn't get, well, observed by the walls. But okay, now we can finally talk to Nagur. Cardiff says you may have a job for me. Well, well. So you're looking for a special job. Okay. But we play by my rules, understood? What does that mean? That means you do what I say and you get a third of the profits. If you don't like it, then there's no job. All right, you're the boss. Good. Then let me know when you're ready to rake in a heap of gold. All right, what's your plan? You know the merchant Baltram, don't you? If not, it's time you talk to him. This Baltram has a messenger who supplies him with goods from Akil's farm. That is, he had a messenger. Until I cut his throat. And now Baltram has to get a new one. And that will be you. Your job is to get hired by Baltram and fetch the delivery from Akil. You bring it to me, and then I'll set it on to an interested customer. He'll fork over a tidy little sum for it. And just don't try selling the stuff yourself. Have you got all that? Well then, I'm all set. Good. Then get in your way. But if you try to cheat me, you'll soon be every bit as dead as the messenger. Don't forget. That guy is a little scary, but you know what? Money is money. As long as he pays and doesn't cut my throat, I'm happy about that. But oh well, that quest will be for later, when we also explore the rest of the city. But first, we're just going to meet the other persons around this harbor. Like Brahim. What are you doing here? My name is Brahim. 
I draw maps and sell them. Since you're new here, maybe you could use a map of the city? It's quite affordable and very useful until you know your way around. Show me your maps. Well, we basically could uh, buy the maps from him, but honestly, I don't use them. I don't. I don't need them anymore. Plus, we get a normal map anyway soon. And for the city, I know the city by heart. Maybe Come back again later. I I'm sure to have something new for you then. Yeah, good for you. But yeah, I'd have to double buy one. Even though it would be nice for showing off, but man. Hey. What are you doing here? I'm building a ship because I want to get out of here as fast as I can. But the way it looks right now, this ship will never be finished. Why are you in such a hurry? Soon the orcs will come and burn down the city. What makes you think that? Boy, have you noticed the paladins running around everywhere? Why do you think they're here? I tell you, they're here because the orcs will attack soon and that won't be pretty. Can I help you somehow? Yes, you can. Find out what the paladins are planning. I want to know why they're here. And I have to know if the orcs will attack and how far from the city they are. One of the bastards was even seen outside the city. Just bring me all the information you can get. I need to know how much time I have left to finish the boat. Why can't you finish your ship? Oh, we have thousands of problems. The hull still isn't stable, and it's still missing a lot of boards. But I have hardly any gold left to buy new material with, and the last delivery had bugs in it. My boys don't work productively. One wants a vast ship above all else, the other one is worried about the figurehead. As if we didn't have more important things to do. Also, one of my people is simply not showing up for work anymore. I'm beginning to fear that this will delay the construction even more. What's going on at the harbor? The orcs are breathing down our necks and you're asking about the harbor? I only wanted to... The biggest problem we have is that there aren't enough ships in the harbor to get us out of here. To be honest, there's only one ship here and that belongs to the paladins. They certainly won't let us get out of here with that. Well, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. Hmm. Odd. I thought that the ox also tells about a missing person, he asked, but maybe I skipped somewhere a dialogue where it didn't tell me about it. But oh well. Hmm. Nice place we have here. Maybe there's something of interest. Okay. Crates, 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 crates. Uh, okay. Let's see if maybe something's up there. Hey, everybody. Hey. You got no business here, understand? Who are you? That's none of your business. I'm the boss here, okay? The boss of what? Of those chests? Hey, the storeroom was under my supervision, got it? So piss off, or else I'll bash in your skull. Okay, I think I will take his note, his warning seriously. Just considering how big his sword, his sword is. Oh well, but we'll come back for him. I want to see, I want to see what's in this storeroom. Oh yeah, live and let die. First we let him live, then he'll die. Okay, well that was the storeroom, so this has to. Yep, that's it. This is all. This is all, Rick. Also, quick save just for because I can. What are you doing here? <laughs> this is my home. But if you mean, what do I do all day? I arrange fights. You arrange fights? Every day, from noon until evening. And right here, behind the warehouse in the harbor district. Home sweet home. What are the rules for the fight? Quite simple. All regular weapons are allowed. No bows or crossbows and no magic. We fight until one of us drops. And as soon as one of us is flat on his back, it's over. Got it? Whoever leaves the <laughs> ring is out. So if you quit, I win. The stake is 50 gold coins. If you win, you get 100 back. If not, well, then your money is down the drain. 
Got it? Yep. I never knew that. I want to fight against you. Do you have 50 gold pieces? Here you are. We have a new challenger. The bets are placed. Are you ready? Oh, wait. I just. I think I didn't heal up. Let me see. Just a second. Take your time. Ye, I'm starting now. Oh, what the fuck? The the Fine. Okay, at least I did heal up. Ah. Okay, that guy blocks a little bit more than Ignatz or Mo. And I don't like that in particular. What you waiting for? Ow. Shit. At least it was no crit. Don't stop now! Don't this is so exciting, isn't it? It's basically, it's basically quick times went all over the place. There we go. He's down for the count. You know what? Ah, oh, what a branch. Yep. My trophy, but I also want my money. Come on, get up. I want my money, bitch. Oh well, got time for a mushroom. Nom, nom, nom. Come on. Give me my money. Uh, my head. Yeah, I don't care about your head. I care oh, about my money. Oh man, you pack quite a punch. Here's your 100 gold pieces. You've earned them. And one more thing, no one talks about what goes on behind the warehouse. The militia puts everyone who does the slightest thing here behind bars, and those boys don't like to see betting on fights. First rule about warehouse fights: you don't talk about the warehouse fights. Ha! <laughs> I want to fight against you. Nah, nah. Before I go up against you again, I need a better weapon. I had to sell my sword a few days ago. With that, baby, I'm unbeatable. If you get it back for me, I'll take you on again. To whom did you sell the sword? I swapped it with a trader in the marketplace for some stuff. The guy's called Jora. The torches and the bit of meat that he gave me are long used up. He isn't likely to give me the sword for nothing. It's an old sword. He won't want much for it. Just think of the money as an extra stake for the fight. That guy grins quite a lot. You live behind the warehouse? It's only temporary. When you have as much gold as I do, you can afford a little luxury. I was a drill instructor in the army, but I left that bunch to seek my fortune in adventure. Now I've wound up in this shithole. My last 100 gold pieces went to the guards at the city gate. So, I'm seeing to it that I come into money again. I even had to sell my sword. Yeah, I've already established that. What do you know about the war against the orcs? There's not much to tell. The war has been going on for too long. The country people are starving. Everywhere there are peasant revolts that are put down mercilessly by the king. But there's just too many of them. If the war doesn't end soon, the realm will fall apart. Can you train me? As long as you have the necessary experience, sure. Train me as a sword fighter. Yeah, this guy for example could teach us uh, one-handed weapons, but... You know, I currently have no clue what I was uh, supposed to skill, so I'll probably wait for the next episode for that. So, ye, so we got ourselves some money, which we, well, used up on the thing. Uh, used up in the brothel, anyways. And we meet one of our last guys for today. But first, you know, I like the contents of this uh, place here. I like this beautiful axe. And... The grass just growing out of uh, or through through the building, or was it? looked like there was grass through the building, but probably not. Yike! Yike! Okay, that would be yeah, that would be still if you could uh, fry your, your meat on, but it's way slower than the campfire. But anyways, meet Alvin. 